Hello everyone, in this lecture I am going to show you how to load data into Snowflake database. So first of all I am going to open the Snowflake web client interface. I will provide my username and password here. So the first thing I have to make sure that my warehouse is up and running. So let me just show you my warehouse. warehouses it is in suspended state so let me just start this resume small extra small medium finish now it is started so now I'm going to load this file in the snowflake database so the first step is to load this file in the snowflake staging area okay so now first of all I'm going to open the command prompt so this is my command prompt so I will go in the directory where my CSV file is present so so my CSV file is present here in this particular directory let me just copy paste the path here CD paste the path now I'm going to connect snow SQL from this directory okay so how I'm going to connect SnowSQL? I'm going to type a command SnowSQL minus C training. So training is the connection name which I have set up. So in the connection uh, training I have given the username and password, database name, warehouse. Let me just show you the uh, my configuration file. User, Somic. This is my user dot snow SQL uh, config file. Let me just open this file, edit with notepad plus plus. So this is my connection dot training uh, file. Okay. So I have set up account name, username, password, database name. So that is the reason why I am only giving this command snow SQL minus C training. Otherwise, I had to provide the uh, username and password account number as well. Okay. Now press enter. So now I am connected to snow SQL. So the next step is use schema public. Okay. So let me just show you my schema. So worksheet dice is the database name. So I'm going to select this schema public. Okay. So in this schema use schema public semicolon at the end press enter. So schema has been selected. Next I'm going to select the warehouse. No. Next, I'm going to create the uh, staging area in the snowflake. So I will type a command create stage then the staging area. Let's say uh, bucket bucket semicolon at the end. So I have given a name bucket to my staging area. Press enter a staging area bucket has been created. So what is the next step? I'm going to select my warehouse. So my warehouse name is this, which is up and running. Use warehouse then the name of warehouse, which is this semicolon at the end. So warehouse has been selected. Next step is to place a file in the staging area. So I'm going to use this command. So put file path. So, so this is the path. Let me show you my path. So I'm not providing the full path here. I will just provide the 
name of file the reason i am not providing the full path here because i am connected to snow sql from this path from this particular path where my csv file is present okay so i will only provide the file name which is employee dot csv then space so after space i will write at then the name of stage my staging area my staging area is bucket b u c k e t semicolon at the end press enter it seems there is an error let me just now press enter so look put file now look you have to provide this uh, command let me just modify it put file okay employee dot csv dot csv then space at bucket is my staging area okay look file has been placed in the staging area so the next step is copy into okay so next step is to copy the uh, file in the database so now i am going to create a table in the database so in order to create a table first of all i am going to open the file first okay now create a table use the create table command create table table name let's say employee history table create table employee history now i am going to provide the column names uh, columns are employee id data type is integer comma uh, name underscore prefix var char let's say comma first underscore name underscore name var char is the data type comma middle initial middle initial var char comma last underscore name var char comma gender var char is the data type then the bracket semicolon at the end press enter so the table has been created okay next step is to load this file in this table okay so i am going to use this particular command copy into copy into table name is employee underscore history so okay copy into from from at name of staging area my staging area name is bucket semicolon at the end press enter so look employee id is not recognizable so let me just create this table again now i'm going to change the data type so let me just drop this table drop table employee history semicolon now i'm going to create this table again control c place here i will give the var char as a data type var char now copy this okay next i am going to use this command copy into employee history from 
bucket is the from add bucket is the name of staging area semicolon at the end now execute this now look okay loaded table has been loaded successfully let me just check my table uh, worksheet refresh this public look employee underscore history let me just query this select star from employee underscore history execute this okay use dice now execute this look number of rows let me just count the number of rows total number of rows one zero zero one okay number of rows thousand and one header also the header okay header one zero zero one so let me show you few more commands so in order to display uh, stages in snow sql you will write show stages stages semicolon at the end so i have created few stages box bucket csv files these are different stages okay so now uh, in order to drop uh, these stages you will write drop in order to drop any specific stage you will write drop stage then the uh, name of stage let's say box box successfully dropped now uh, show stages only two left okay now i'm going to drop this stage uh, drop stage csv files now uh, show stage stages okay now i'm only left with one stage which is bucket this is my staging area where i'm going to place my files okay in order to load data in the snowflake so this is how you load data in the database using snow sql command line interface so first of all you are going to place data in the staging area of snowflake from the staging area of snowflake you are going to copy data using copy command and you are going to load data in the uh, database okay hope you understood the concept thank you so much and have a great learning